Hi, today I want to have a quick look on the 24 volt 100 watts DC power supplies which I ordered from Banggood for my DIY CNC project. In the first look they look pretty nice, sorted and actually with a price of $8 per piece delivered I'm not going to look too much on capacitor quality or things like that. I have to expect that they can't really buy the expensive ones. It seems that in this price range production quality is not always the very best. As you can see for example here or on the not reasonably cut pins down here. If those one would have been bent in slightly different directions that would have ended up with a shortcut. So please double check that you don't have these uh, that you don't have shortcuts on these bends if they happen during transport for example. The other thing why I say that production quality is not really stable is if we look on this board here on the capacitor that looks not too bad actually. If I take a second board that I ordered with the same order, it came from the same batch, you can see the capacitor is not properly fed in before soldering. And the same is pretty much valid for the rectifier. Well, that NTC seems to be always a problem, I have the feeling, when they put it in. What I like on these ones is for the AC connection, they have put pretty decent terminals on there. Don't hesitate to order prefabricated cables that will make your life much easier and you only have to plug them in here and then you're done. The other thing that I like is they have done a pretty decent job to segregate the main section from the low voltage section. Uh, you have quite huge distances here between between the traces. They have done isolation cuts wherever possible. This one here, I'm not sure if you can see that. This one here, I would have left if it would have gone through, but then they would have interfered with one of the traces they have there. But nevertheless, the isolation traces are there. I think in good places and a nice touch to detail is they actually have done ventilation slots where you have the heat sinks. Honestly if that really helps a lot I don't know that depends very much on the on the design of the housing that you're putting around it. Talking about housing, these beasts here on that side have mains voltage. So A, never use them without, without a proper box around. B, please only use them if you know what you do. And here we have on the Banggood side the power supply as I ordered it, $8 shipped and as it looks right now not too bad further details and tests will follow as soon as i have connected it up and tested it out but i wanted to show that even for a low price you can see something halfway decent at least you can't expect the same quality that you get for a hundred dollar piece but i think this is looking on the eight dollars this is a reasonable quality and if I compare it to what I got from a different supplier for $20, which on this side already looks a bit weird, but if I go down here, I actually decided immediately that this will not get into contact with mains and this will not be used somewhere else. They simply go down the trash and that's it. So I hope you found it interesting. Have a nice day and see you soon.